also I wanted to add the um, bailout switch that I saw a couple guys over at Helifreak putting on their transmitter. Um, this is basically a, a momentary push button switch that goes on the side of your transmitter and when you push that switch it activates the emergency recovery mode for the Copilot 2 stabilization system and uh, I want, kinda want to learn to fly on my own without any stabilization so this way I can leave it off and uh, have real quick easy access to it to uh, activate it momentarily give myself a bailout so uh, I've got the DX6i transmitter that came with the uh, Blade 450 helicopter and I just basically mounted in my milling machine I zeroed the DRO in case I bump the table I can figure out how to get back to the center of the hole I've already done the first pilot and uh, I'm just going to step up in drill bit sizes telling me the size that the switch wants uh, it's uh, 1764 so I'll be going up about every two drill bits at a time until we get there okay I got that all drilled out it's in there came out pretty clean okay I've got it installed Got the little red uh, cap on the switch you snap on. Let's just put in there. I just had some uh, generic wire laying around. There's no polarity to this, so it doesn't matter what color you use. And uh, it's soldered into the back of what's normally the gyro switch um, when you're using a, a helicopter mode. I just got to uh, fold up the wires and uh, put it back together and then I'll talk a little bit about the programming setup for that. Okay, so I've got everything buttoned up here. Got the switch installed on the side. Real convenient position. You can keep your finger on it the whole time as you're flying. Still be able to move the control. As far as the programming, as I said, I'm running it off of the flap gyro switch which has uh, just basically two positions on it. For the programming what I've done uh, you can see we're set to uh, position zero, the up position. I set the travel or the percentage at uh, zero for that position and uh, 100 for the uh, second position. Basically when the switch is forward in the zero position the switch is in an open circuit situation. The momentary switch is also open circuit so they match each other. I'm going through the setup. I don't know how well you can see this. Having the switch in the open circuit position has the co-pilot in the off mode. Closing the circuit on either the toggle switch or the button places it into the level flight uh, mode and then again with the emergency recovery had the helicopter been flying in uh, the proper conditions and had it exceeded a 45 degree angle it would uh, double the gain and uh, recover twice as fast as it normally does. I'll run through the setup let's see uh, trying to get the glare off the screen Go to preferences. Flight mode setup. 
will be a yes. Enable remote on off is a yes. Change remote on off. We'll switch that to yes. Uh, pick 2.4 gig. So if you want to confirm that the remote is working in an open circuit condition, we're at 975. Millisecond frame rate. Closing the circuit takes it to 2000. So that's the 0%, and that's the 100%. That's a two way switch, that is correct. So the control has uh, one flight mode and off based on the uh, two position switch. Notice the one flight mode, that's important, you'll need to remember that later. So remove the remote on off switch to the off position. Well for off, since our uh, added switch is normally open, we will have our off position to where both switches are in the normally open uh, position. So we're there. Okay, move remote on off to flight mode one. We can use the toggle for the setup. So remove the move the remote to change screens, so I'll move the toggle switch forward. Okay, so uh, off remote's at zero percent. I'll push in the red button. In uh, flight mode one, the remote's now 100%. Let go of the button. Now we're off. Now we're back on. Now notice it's not assigned. I'm going to use the toggle switch to hold it on. We need to assign a uh, flight mode to that uh, remote switch position. So I'll increment to level flight. You heard the servos jump. Enter. So flight mode setup is now complete. Okay, so that's about all there is to it. Um, it's pretty easy to do. It only took about an hour, I guess. And uh, since the helicopter is indoors, it uh, doesn't know which way is level, but you can see the reaction. So that's off. That's on. Trying to level. It's pretty fast to turn on.